Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new video. And in the last part, we had started building the nav bar of our Flutter web app. Uh, that was the first part of the playlist. And in this video, I'm going to create this first container. So this current uh, screen that you can see of this design, track, ex track your expenses to save money, then this vector, then buttons and this uh, text in the column. So this complete thing we are going to build for desktop and mobile in this video and creating a, creating the same thing for tablet is your homework, right? So let's go to our VS code and this you already know. So if you haven't followed the first part, please go through that part first and follow this playlist in the same order, right? So now I'm going to create one folder inside this pages folder. So let's call it containers and I'm going to keep all the containers. You can see this is one container, second container, then third, fourth, fifth, all the containers inside this container folder, all right? So now uh, inside this containers folder, I'm going to create one file called container one dot dot, container one dot dot. And now I'm inside this container one dot dot and I'm going to import material dot dot, <coughs> material dot dot, create a stateful widget, call this as container one and return a screen type layout because we need to show different layout for mobile, desktop and tablet. So screen type layout and it will be having mobile, it will be having a desktop, tablet is your homework, right? So now let's create a widget for, for desktop and then we will create and then we will just copy paste and make some changes in the mobile, right? Main is our desktop because we are learning to create desktop UIs, basically the websites, right? So desktop container one, so desktop container one and let's return, what should we return? So we are going to return a container first. And yes, so after this container, I'm going to return a row because you can see that this is a row and inside this row, we are having one column and one container containing the image, right? So child, and yes, one more thing that I forgot to tell you that I'm going to create one file inside this utils uh, not a file, just in the constants, I'm going to create and put all the images, the string images, so that I don't need to write asset slash images slash every time. So I'm going to go in YouTube just now and I'm going to come up with all the string images, right? So just a second. So now you can see that I have pasted all the images. So they are constant strings and logo, then illustration one, two, three. So now what I can do is I can go inside my nav bar and over here in the nav logo, you can see this string. I can just cut this out and call a uh, logo. Uh, yes, so this is my constant. Perfect. So now I can just go over here and import constants dot dot. Perfect. So now let's go in container one dot dot and child will be a row. And inside this row, I'm going to have uh, again children. Children first of all will be expanded. First child will be expanded. And the child is going to be a container. So a container. And inside this container, I'm going to have column. So child, column, then children. And first child will be a text. So text, and I'm going to go inside my design and I'm going to copy this first text and come and paste over here. So you can see that after your and after two, we are having next lines. So after your, so next line, and after two, next line, so backslash n. And I'm going to uh, write the style text style, font size. So I want to create this website as responsive. So I'm not going to hard code the font size. In fact, I'm going to make it responsive with respect to the width of the screen. So width, that is W. We have already defined this uh, variable in home dot dot. So if you have not followed the first part, I'll strongly recommend you to go and watch that part. So width upon 20. So I saw that when I keep width by 20, then my text is exactly the same font size as you can see over here, right? So width upon 20, so it will look good in all the screens, right? So now I'm going to make it bold. So font weight dot bold, perfect. And I can just, uh, okay, so yeah, in the desktop, let me just write desktop container one and mobile let's just comment it out for the first okay so mobile it wants so for mobile also let's give it desktop so that we can just see what we are building 
I can go in my design and let's refresh it. Okay, so I'm not getting anything. Uh, okay, so let's wait and let me just uh, see if we are getting any error in the console. Okay, so let me just refresh it. Okay, so let's just refresh the website. Okay, I'm not getting the text. Okay, yeah, uh, silly mistake. I have not called the container one uh, in my home.dart. So in the nav bar, after the column, a uh, children, nav bar, then container one. So that it should be visible. This was a very silly mistake. Container one, perfect. Let me just save it. And I should be able to see the text. Track your expenses to save money. And I can see that the height of this text is very high. So I can just go in my container one and I can define the height as 1.2. Let's see. Yeah, this is good. And now uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, for this column, I'm going to keep cross axis alignment as cross axis alignment dot start so that it should be at the start. But now it will not because uh, this is completely expanded, right? So this is a completely expanded uh, container. So it is taking the complete width. So now uh, let me just write some more text that I can see in my design. This is the text. This is button. This is again text. Let me just copy this uh, text. And first of all, I'll have some spacing after this text. So sized box. Height, I'm going to keep it 20. Then one more text and I'm going to paste the text, right? So this is all good. And I'm going to uh, just write the styling for this. Uh, styling gray should be 400 and font size should be 16. Or you can give it according to the width if you want. And yeah, this is all good. So let me see if I get the text. Yes, I'm getting the text. Uh, spacing is not appropriate. So uh, the spacing between this thing let me see if I get, yes, it is 20. So uh, let's keep it 20 and let's see after uh, the complete thing. So we have drawn this text and now I'm going to uh, keep it as it is. And I'm going to again bring one size box. So let me just copy this, paste it after this text. And now we can draw one row. So row will be having a button and text. So it will be having a uh, container height 45 for the elevated button and it will be having a child uh, elevated button dot icon dot icon on press will be nothing and icon you can see that this is something a drop down so icon will be icon icons dot drop down uh, arrow drop down. Yes, let's keep it. Uh, icon doesn't matter more. Uh, if you want to keep the exact icon, then you can download the icon from here. But my main focus is to teach you. So Flutter web. So label will be text and try a demo. Isn't it? Try free demo. Okay. Try free demo. So this is all good. Let me just save it. And yes, we need to put some styling. So I'm going to keep the style as button style. And I'm going to keep a background color as a material state property dot all. It will be app colors dot primary. And after that, I'm going to, yeah, this is all good. So let me just save it and let's see what we get. Uh, Yes, I'm getting the button and this orange is not the same. So I think it is deep orange. So I'm going to go in colors and orange will be deep orange. So let me just save it now. And yes, so this is all good. Yes. And after this button, I'm having this text. So I'm going to copy this text, go in container one. And after this container, I'm going to keep one sized box with width as 20. And I'm going to keep one text paste that style over here and let's put a comma and let's see what we get. So this is all good. So yeah, I'm getting my uh, text over here. So now let's bring that uh, expanded image also. 
so after the main yes so this is my main row after this expanded i'm going to bring one more expanded and the child will be a container container of height uh, 530 because this is the same height i'm taking from here right so 530 and then i'm going to keep one decoration then box decoration image decoration image image will be asset image and this name is illustration illustration one and fit will be box fit dot contain so fit will be box fit dot contain perfect so let me just save this let's see uh, if we get the image okay i'm getting the image and let's fix the margins and all that and then our desktop uh, will be ready so let's go over here the main container and let's keep the margin as edge insets dot symmetric and i'm going to keep the horizontal margin as width so i'm going to keep it responsive so width upon 10 it should be and for the vertical i'm going to keep it 20 so 20 and let me just save it so let's see yes it looks really really good now and now let's draw the mobile version and you can fix all this sizing by your own also right this sizing is not a big concern right you can fix this you can if you are not looking that you if you see that the size is too high over here you can keep it 10 you can increase the size from here right so let's do it let's do it so after this uh main thing let's keep this as 10 and i think after this it should be 30. let's see okay it's uh, still very far so let's keep this as 5 okay so it is because of the height so okay so let's keep it 10 and let's increase the font size it should be 20 i guess and this is all good so yeah it still looks good now and let's give the same uh size to this uh final text 20 yeah it looks good now and now what i can do is i can draw the mobile so first of all i'm going to copy the same things right so let me just copy the same container for the desktop control c and i'm going to draw one widget mobile container one return this container perfect and let's see what all changes we can make so first of all it will not be a row now so over here you can see this is a row so this will be a column because everything will be in the vertical direction and again and i'm going to remove this margin for now in the mobile and it will be an uh, yes so let me see so column then it will not be expanded but otherwise it will take the complete height of the mobile so uh, instead of expanded i'm going to remove the expanded so remove this widget and container i'm going to give this as uh, height and width height and width this is uh, yes so first of all yes so let me i'm doing one mistake uh, yes let me just remove the margin and in mobile my this one my image the main vector image i'm talking about this one will be at the top right so let me just remove this container from here let's remove this expanded and i'm going to put this image on top and this will not be of height 1 530 it will be responsive to the width of the screen so width upon 1.2 these all values which i'm writing are all uh, like result of practice right so if you will practice you will get like exact values in uh, at which the ui looks good so width is w slash 1.2 so it will be a square right so this is all good and size yes so after the image i'm going to give one size as uh, sized box 20 so 20 and let me just show you the output and after that i'm going to not be having uh, expanded so remove this widget i'm having sing simple text and this is all good uh yeah rest everything looks good and yes final also uh instead of uh, this row i'll not be have any row i'll not be having any row so remove this and i'll be having both this as a part of the main column so let me just save it now and let me just go over here in the nav bar and copy this thing 
so that proper margins and boundaries are there this is mobile and this is my desktop and let's see we are ready to see the final output so let's go over here and let me just refresh the app yes so this is my web ui if you see that it is sticking to the top you can increase the sizing and if you and don't worry about the bottom because we are going to have uh, the next container right and you can see that over here also there is so much space so if you think that this is very high it is all according to the design right and again uh, after this the new container will come then it will look really good right but let's keep it as it is and let's see the mobile and let me just go and uh, see the inspect and yes you saw one error right just now you saw one error so that was because uh, because we haven't currently uh, drawn the ipad version so in the ipad you have to take this text below right but that is your homework and i'm going to go and see the mobile part yes so this is my mobile so there is some error i can see i can see some error over here why it is not taking uh, it should be a part of the column right so let's just fix this out and then we can conclude the video so let's just fix this error yes i can see the error so it is a desktop and this is a column container then size box then one container then this column okay so it is having text it is having i think this container should also go away uh this column yes this column should not be there so let's just uh, remove this column uh let's just remove this column uh so we have to remove the container also so let's just remove the container and yes so i'm going to remove these three things yes perfect and now one more thing uh this text alignment uh will be not left aligned now it will be centered so text align everything will be clear once i will show you the output so text align will be centers so let me just save it and let's see if we get perfectly rendered ui now so let me just remove this and let me just okay from where why this is coming so let me just keep it over there yes so let me just refresh the app okay web view is looking good let's see the mobile view okay still not fixed so we need to fix this uh why okay so first of all this container this image should be over here right this should not be a part of the row so uh is it not the mobile view i am seeing so let me just keep it down 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 no it is not taking mobile okay i got the issue we have done everything correct but we forgot to call the mobile container one instead of desktop container this was a very very silly mistake i hope that you don't repeat this mistake right so now we are ready to go and we can see the mobile okay so still some ui errors are there so this is easy to handle right this is not that much hard so first of all uh this is good the container is good and we need to increase the size of this track your expenses to save money and it should be having some margin you can see it is sticking over here so let me just do it so in the mobile first of all this is a long text so i'm going to give it a break over here and i'm going to give it a text align as text align dot center right and for the mobile this should be 16 and over here also this should be 16 and yeah we are ready to go and yes for the mobile instead of 20 it should be 10 because th that was very small font size for track your expenses right now we are ready to go and yes it looks really good you can see uh, we can in, uh, give some spacing over here after button so let me just give it uh, let me just copy this ah yeah because we did not uh, replace width with height so this should be height and after the text also i can give one sized box perfect so yeah this really looks good now you can see this is a perfect uh, ui for mobile and for the desktop perfect you can see it is completely responsive now 
So I hope that you like this video and hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.